What's up guys here, we're going to be doing another animated story. So this girl has 18 kids and she's only 18 years old. How could she have 18 kids at 18? I have no idea. But today we are just going to be looking at this. This is, I don't know if this is a true story. I don't think you'd have 18 kids at 18, especially if you're like just having kids at like 10. But could be possible. You don't know. Alright, let's play the awesome video. Hi, my name is Tessa, and this might sound crazy, but by the time I turned eight, All right. 18, I already had 18 kids. You One might kid ask a year. yourself how that is even possible. I mean, there's not enough time in the year to get to be a mother of 18 before I can even buy alcohol, right? Well, Unless I you have, like, triplets. It, I couldn't possibly be happier. Let me tell you a bit about myself. I grew up in a big family with lots of other children. I'm the youngest of 10 brothers and sisters, so you can imagine how busy my family home was. Everyone was always meddling in each other's business, and though it was sometimes a mess, we really loved each other. And no, we are not some creepy religious cult or anything like that. My mom and dad are super normal people who are just used to big, happy families. They each have lots of siblings of their own and love the idea of having many sons and daughters. So not only did I have all those older brothers and sisters, but also aunts and uncles and cousins. So many of them. It was amazing and we all had so much fun together. You can only imagine how our family reunions go. So this kind of does give you an idea of why this girl would have 18 kids. This is just the first piece. That she has a big family, like lots of brothers and sisters and aunts and uncles. To me, having many children was super normal, and that was what I wanted to do. So when I met Tommy in middle school, I knew I had found the love of my life, even if we were both super young. He was really smart and funny and so cute. He also came from a big family, just like my own. Well, a bit smaller. They were seven siblings. So that's probably why she reproduced and had those kids because she was a little bit young to go to a doctor and put the sperm inside her. There's like a 21st century version of it. I would tell you what what a number of reproduces, but since because it involves inappropriate language, naughty language, and because of male and female organs and all that, I am not going to explain it. For one, I am not a, t a health teacher, and two, I don't want to get this video demonetized because I'm explaining that. Instead of 11, but that was a lot more than many families, you know? What's funny is that he was the youngest, just like me. We had so much in common, and we both agreed that having... Hello there. Whoa. So, you guys are both young. Why are you guys having kids? When you're young, imagine how high their bill would be if they have 18 kids at 18. That would be even worse than the Loud House when there's 13 kids, when there's like 11 kids there. I can name them all and I am like only 16. Loy, Lenny, Luna, Luann, Len, Lincoln, Lucy, Lola, Lana, Lisa, and Lily. Lily is the youngest. But since there's only 13 kids and this girl had 18, imagine how high their bill would be. You're going to have to buy a lot of smartphones. You're going to have to buy a lot of baby food. Imagine how high the bill would be. You're going to have to... A job at Burger King is not going to be enough to pay to get that. You're going to have to go to college in order to do that. And you can't go to college because you had all those kids. So I think you need to put some of your kids up for adoption because you have way too many kids, ma'am. But let's continue watching. Just so we could see that, I'm... Going to move that out there. Happy families was the best. We began dating almost immediately, and it didn't take us long to find ways of being together all alone. Well, as you might guess, one thing led to another, and soon I became pregnant. My mom and dad weren't super happy about it since they wished I would have waited a bit longer. That being said, they loved the idea of having a baby. So, parents, those parents actually didn't trust their instincts. Like, you should have trusted your instincts. Because why would you have a kid at this age? I hope you're on the next 16 and pregnant. Be in the house again. 
to our surprise, it was not just a single baby, but three. Triplets. Yes, I had triplets. Tommy was super supportive of I bet to make sure she had those kids, she probably kept getting triplets. You need to lo lose the babies. You have way too many. 18 and only 18 years old? I think you need to put at least 15 of those up for adoption. So you can afford the bill. Keep the first three triplets, throw away the rest. I don't even know how high your bill would be if you had that many kids. About it, and he promised to help me take care of our babies. He kept his word and we continued dating. I was so in love with him and we adored our three sons. It was so perfect that I asked myself, why not have even more babies? I didn't tell my mom and dad about my plan because I knew they wouldn't exactly agree. I did speak to Tommy though, and he was super supportive. We were in And that's how you die. It's not possible having more than one kid, especially since the baby is going to be bigger and in the female, the female body parts where urine comes out of. Since it's too big, they're going to cut that portion open. I know, I learned, I didn't learn that in health class, I, I went online and learned that. There's this thing called the internet. Maybe instead of having 18 kids, maybe you could have 18 smartphones. That'd be a little bit cheaper, I right? nah, that wouldn't be. Why would you spend your money having kids when you could, when you can save that much money to get an iPhone? Wonder why you don't even have an iPhone, that's why, why, I, these can these characters kind of look like my grandparents, except this one's a bit skinnier than my actual one. And this one's a little bit young. My grandpa has white hair. This guy doesn't. This kind of resembles my grandparents a little bit. High school by then, and this time around, I didn't get pregnant by mistake. We absolutely were trying to have more babies. This time, it took us a bit longer to actually get pregnant, but that was okay. We did it take over nine months? Because that's how long it should take. If you guys watched one of my other videos, I think it was Dumbest People Ever on the Internet or Dumbest People Ever on Facebook. I explained that they said, can your baby get pregnant if you have sex while pregnant? And that's why you should not reproduce. I don't even know how you managed to get those kids. Did it take longer than nine months? I hope it didn't take 27. Do, you know, like... If you guys watch iCarly, because that guy kind of also does look like Freddy from iCarly. Because you know, his his mom actually was pregnant with him for 11 months. 11. Because she wanted to see if he was done growing. So he was supposed to be born on, I think it was like February, but I think it was on April that he was born on. We were very busy with the triplets and our studies, so it wasn't as if we were desperate for it to happen. But when I turned 15, I began feeling sick in the mornings. I knew those symptoms all too well. Yes, the first one is morning sickness. Did you guys watch the Fairly Odd Parents, Fairly Odd Baby? Although maybe that, although that show's not real, there is an episode, season six, episode one. It was the first episode of continued production after its first catch in 2006. But yeah, some of the symptoms include morning sickness, mood swings, and then the very last symptom. I think it was either um, greed or something like that. And then the very last thing happened after all those symptoms, the baby is born. So I rushed to the pharmacy to get myself a pregnancy test. I was so happy when it turned out to be positive and I called Tommy at once. We celebrated that night and could already imagine another cute little baby filling our lives with joy and happiness. I have another question for you. When you did this, did you ever, like, get engaged? You guys have to be at least married or something. You guys are young. Why would you spend your time having kids if you're addicted to having kids? Then why would you have them at this age? Just the question. Why couldn't you just, like... If you have kids now, like, if you're 12, or wait, that's too young, like, 15, like this girl. If you have a kid, like, every time you have a kid, what, unless you guys are, like, dig, unless you guys are gay or something, but if you guys have a girlfriend or something, do not have sex with that girl yet. Because the moment that baby comes out of her, 
Your own social life is over, and so is hers. Because after you have a kid, you have to sacrifice so many things. I'm not even going to explain everything you have to sacrifice. Because that's a really, really long list, and plus everybody's different. Happiness. The only problem was, it wasn't just one baby this time around either. Yes, you guessed it. It was triplets. But now I was right. we had three girls. It was so perfect. I couldn't even understand how we could be so lucky. My mom and dad didn't really scold me this time around. If I'm perfectly honest, they sort of assumed that I knew what I was doing by then and accepted that they were going to have three more grandchildren to love and spoil. They decided that since Tommy and I already had so many children to take care of, it was- Well, his name is Tom. To Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did this girl who draw them? Look at the boys. Why are their heads bigger than their body? The same. The same Rugrats where, or South Park where your head is bigger than your body. I want that kind of, these two kind of look like Phil and Lil from the show. Like Rugrats, that's Phil, and that can look like Lil. I don't even know what that one would look like. It's not Tommy or Dill. And that one kind of looks like Susie Carmichael, except Susie is not white. That one kind of resembles Angelica. After the six babies, they had us move into the guest house at the back. Yes, as you might have guessed, my family was well off. It wasn't as if we were crazy rich or anything like that, but we did all right. Tommy's parents were far richer than we were, honestly. He asked his dad to let him work at the family business to support me and the babies, and my father in law said yes. Tommy was young, like 16 at that time, but he was. He was so my age. Inventive. He did really well there. He be I, if you guys know that I'm not going to be 16 any longer, so at the end of this month, May 27th, the first day of final exams, I'm going to be a big 17. Yep, you guessed it. Please don't be old enough to watch NC-17 movies. Yep, once I turn 17, I'm legally old enough to watch those. He began adding new ideas and improving the business, and in no time, he was actually making the company earn even more money. That was cool, because it meant that he could actually pay for the diapers and the formula, as well as pretty clothes for all our sons and daughters. When I got pregnant for the third time, I knew that I had to stop going to school. I simply didn't have the time to do it all at once. Don't be thinking I'm a high school dropout or something like that, though. I totally graduated and ahead of time to boot. I just studied from home. Basically, I was homeschooled in a way, but... Yeah, that's what my... Older stepsister Shan could have done. She got pregnant at 16, and now she dropped out of high school. Why would you drop out of high school anyway? Even if you do have a kid now, the least you could do is, like, buy a computer and homeschool yourself. Like, that way you can have your kids and go to school at the same time. It's simple, but better. But I studied on my own. I didn't need any tutor to tell me to sit down and read a book. Tommy decided to go to college after he graduated, but chose one that was super close to home so that he wouldn't have to be away too often. He began working from his study in the guest house, and so he could really help me with all the babies. You might be asking yourself if my third pregnancy resulted in triplets again. Well, no, but it wasn't one either. It was twins, a girl and a boy. I was super busy all the time. I'm not going to lie, but at the same time, I didn't want to stop. I wanted to have more and more children. Sure, I could have simply gotten pregnant again, but that sort of seemed a bit selfish. There are so many orphan children in this country, and I felt like I could both expand my beautiful family and give children without a home a loving mom and dad, as well as lots of siblings. So I spoke to Tommy about my idea, and he absolutely loved it. But he told me that before he wanted to buy me a big house. So while I began doing the paperwork to get us on the list to adopt orphan kids, he searched for a perfect house to raise our huge family in. We already had eight biological children, and I was determined to adopt ten more. It was not an easy task, but I was So because he had, she had eight already, so the last ten she adopted? So she didn't give birth to these kids. So the ten she got were, like, adopted. Kind of like Ike and Kyle from South Park. Ike is the adopted brother. You could tell that he was adopted because he was Canadian. 
you know, Canadians in South Park have those big googly eyes and their heads that don't quite, that don't, that like the top of their head don't quite connect to their mouth. That's not what Canadians look like in real life. It's just South Park's version of it. Determined to achieve it. Now, don't be thinking I just laid on my bed and let some nanny raise my kids. I was a full-time mom who dedicated herself to her beautiful, bright children. I loved them with all my heart, and they kept me so busy all through the day. Just when the adoption papers began to be approved, Tommy let me in on the good news. He had managed to get a loan from his dad to buy the perfect home. He was doing really well for himself by that time, and his father knew that we'd be able to pay him back. My mom and dad were so proud of what we were doing, adopting all those poor boys and girls, and they supported us 100%. We flew all around the country to find children to adopt, and we knew that it would be best if they were a bit older. Babies were what everyone wanted, but if we adopted three to five-year-olds, then we'd be giving homes to kids that people turn their backs on. The kids were all super shy, and they struggled to adapt to their new home. Yeah, because of the three to five, you don't need it. You don't have to buy a lot of baby stuff anymore. Because if they're older, they'll have different interests. I couldn't blame them. After all, they had been abandoned once already. They were probably scared to be sent back if they made too much noise or something. But Tommy and I encouraged them to open up and feel safe with us and their brothers and sisters. Soon they were laughing and playing as if they had always been a part of our family. I was close to turning 18 by then and wanted to finish my quest before my birthday. It would be the best gift in the world for me. So we got on another plane while my mom and dad took care of all our children. Tommy and I visited so many places and finally managed to find the five perfect additions to our growing family. They were all so sweet and in need of a mom and dad who would love them unconditionally. These new kids were super timid as well, but the fact that there were already so many other adopted children in the house made their adoption period far easier. I couldn't believe that my dream to have a big, happy family had finally become a reality. You can't even imagine how busy my day is, running around the house with 18 kids to take care of. I wouldn't change it for the world, though. I couldn't be happier. And Tommy continues to work from home, so he can always be there to give me a helping hand. He's doing super well financially. That means I can buy lots of nice toys and clothes for all our children. You might ask yourself if I ever show my biological kids that I love them more. And the answer is no, never. I couldn't even imagine doing anything so cruel. I love all my sons and daughters equally. I don't care if I got pregnant with them or if they have a different biological mother and father. To me and to Tommy, they are all equally ours. My mom and dad and my in-laws adore all of their grandkids as well. You can only imagine how much fun they all have when it's time to go pay them a visit. That's how I managed to be the mom of 18 kids by the time I was 18. I'm thinking that in a few years, perhaps Tommy and I will adopt four or five more children, but we haven't really begun discussing it seriously. I love having such a big family and helping my sweet babies. I know that the ones we adopted might never have found a good mom and dad otherwise, and seeing them smile is the biggest reward I could ask for. My family combined is over 200 people. Isn't that crazy? I mean, between my kids, my uncles and aunts, my cousins, siblings, and nieces and nephews, we are lots and lots of people. We have a huge family. All right, guys, I'm going to end it here. This is actually a really fun one. So I hope you guys like this video. This girl is addicted to having kids. Are you guys going to have kids? Comment below and be sure to subscribe to my what pack. I love you guys. I'm going to be revamping the schedule. So now... All the games I play with most of them, like, majority of it's going to be violent games. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye, guys.